happy or sad, deep down you're still the same person, but then you kind of, your outlook from that's very, very different, but the person itself doesn't necessarily change. But with this one, is very, there's straight lines because it has to be systematic and the systematicness and trying to make sense of things is helpful in those times but equally it's very restrictive and it kind of represents in the dark the dark colours tend to represent the trapped being trapped in the dark by the systematic thinking and the processing my thoughts were that the brain could have uh, all sorts of different colours for different emotions. For instance, red is angry, yellow is happy, blue is sad, purple is excited, black is annoyed, green is low, pink is joyful and orange is confused. Basically this picture is supposed to indicate my subconscious mind and my normal mind. Basically my normal mind is where all my normal stuff that I think about goes. And my subconscious is where I go if I'm overstressed or angry. It's where I recharge myself and get myself back to full. Well, the left hand side of this picture is my brain on a bad day. And the right hand side is my brain on a good day. So on a bad day, there's all of the arrows, they represent like overload of information and it's attacking the poor deer, which is like, a very shy animal, which is how I feel when I'm anxious, scared and shy. On a good day, it's calm and colorful and happy and pretty, the beautiful unicorn and the cat in the middle is me trying to escape from the bad side of my brain to the good side of my brain. So that one is, there's a lot more creativity and a lot more positive vibes and energy going on in this picture. There's space for more things. These are thoughts and they're the same kind of things that are going on here. They might be positive, they might be negative thoughts, but because this is so positive, you can put a positive spin on the negative thoughts.